Hello and welcome to Washington Exec's video series. I'm senior reporter Rachel Kirkland and I have the pleasure of introducing Keith Gordon. Keith is the president and CEO of Fight for Children. And Fight for Children is an organization that has raised funds to support hundreds of thousands of at-risk children in the Washington DC area for now over 30 years. And Keith is here today to talk about a very special event coming up on May 19th at the Anthem in Washington, D.C. Keith, can you tell us about what is Fight for Children and why is it so important to you? Absolutely. Well, first, thank you for having me, Rachel. Um, it's a gorgeous Friday and, uh, you know, I'm happy to spend some time talking to you today. Um, you know, our organization, as you mentioned, has been around for uh, a little over 30 years and you know, we started in 1990 with our late founder, uh, the late Joseph E. Robert Jr. Uh, he started this organization because his passion was giving back to kids who had some of the same challenges growing up that he did. And uh, the name Fight for Children actually comes from his experience uh, when he was a young teenager and was not necessarily in the best place and was getting into a lot of trouble. He found boxing as a way to channel his emotions and his anger and frustration and ultimately credited the sport of boxing with saving his life. Years later, when he became very successful, he wanted to give back and he wanted to start an organization and then Fight for Children was formed. Um, and since then, uh, since 1990, Fight for Children has been raising money for, for kids through primarily one big event, which most people are familiar with, Fight Night, uh, the last Fight Night of which was, was held in 2019. Uh, but during the, that 30 year period where Fight Night was largely the engine inside of the, the train, as it were, uh, Fight for Children raised over 70 million for children's health care, children's education, um, initiatives that revolved around policy reform for the schools in the D.C. area, and really all focused on underserved communities and under-resourced communities um, and, and kids that really needed to have a little bit of an, an equal opportunity at an education because Joe largely felt that the education was the core and the foundation for everything in life. Um, in 2019, as I mentioned, we sunset our event, uh, Fight Night, and we spent the last few years really focusing on our new mission, which is um, sport-based youth development. And it's really helping uh, communities and uh, organizations leverage the power of sports to help reach kids in underserved communities and teach them life skills, um, things like social and emotional development, character building, uh, and really developing the confidence they need to, to succeed, not only on the playing field, but also in the classroom and ultimately in life. So that's been our focus for the last um, really five years or so. And uh, it's what we do today in, in a number of different iterations. So tell me about the event coming up on May 19th. What is it and what are you most looking forward to? So this event is, uh, it's been a labor of love for the last few years. Uh, not only have we gone through two and a half years without an event, but we've also managed to navigate the pandemic for the last two years successfully. And when we, when we sunset fight night, we intentionally went into planning mode and we we're really driven by two things. One, we wanted to have a much more uh, intentional intersection of our mission and the experience that people had come to know at fight night. But we also wanted something to be reflective of the community and our mission um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And so uh, we renamed the event Fight for Children Honors. Um, this will be the inaugural year. And really honors is about celebrating the power of sports for positive social impact. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll tell some stories. Uh, the, the best way to think about this is sort of like Fight Night meets the Kennedy Center Honors, where you have that, that great experience where you have a network of people that are coming together to support a great cause. Um, people from, from the business community, from the uh, philanthropic community, from the education community, celebrities, athletes, politicians, you name it, all coming together for a great cause. Um, but what you also have is these stories and the meaningful interactions with um, high profile individuals who have roots in the DC area. Um, and this year, our, our four inaugural honorees are going to be Kevin Durant, um, Sheila Johnson, Christine Brennan, and of course, the late John Thompson. And the event itself will be a, <laughs> a marathon uh, evening full of fun, uh, full of entertainment. We've got uh, an all star lineup of performers, including our headliner, Macklemore. Uh, we've got Aloe Black that will be performing um, a, a selection of his songs, specifically dedicating them to the honorees. And the show itself will also feature a lot of the lighter uh, side of things with comedic performances by both Chris Tucker and Jay Farrow. So 
you know, our goal with this event is really to, to continue to bring the community together as we have for more than 30 years for a great cause. Um, also to raise money and awareness about the power of sports to really help kids, in particular those from underserved communities, have an equal opportunity to develop those, those really core skills in life um, so that they can be successful. Excellent. Now, in addition to the upcoming event, how else can people get involved with Fight for Children? Well, there's several opportunities uh, throughout the year. We are always looking for volunteers. Uh, obviously, we need volunteers for our event. It doesn't happen without them. Uh, but we'll also be doing a youth sports day in the fall. And we will also be doing several um, uh, opportunities and several events throughout the year in conjunction with our Youth Development Institute. And uh, for those who don't know, our Youth Development Institute was formed uh, a little over two years ago, and it's a collaborative of 26 local sport-based youth development organizations throughout the DMV. Um, all operate programs in um, the community that, are, that take place after school. They're free to, uh, to participants, and they really focus on providing underserved communities and under-resourced communities access to what sports can actually deliver uh, in terms of those, those elements like the social emotional development, character building. Um, and um, a lot of these organizations do uh, a lot of activities throughout the year. So Fight for Children will help support them. Uh, there's opportunities for organizations to get involved in volunteering, uh, everything from golf tournaments to, uh, you know, in some, in some cases there are corporate tournaments where you can play basketball against. Uh, you know, some of the kids in the program, you can play soccer against some of the kids in the program, you can field teams to be competitive and, and engage with students. Uh, and it's just a really great opportunity to see firsthand the great work that these organizations are doing, but at the same time, um, really develop a personal connection to some of the students who, you know, will look up to folks as mentors, uh, as role models. And, you know, with this particular community that we're talking to today, you know, executives are always, um, from my experience, looking for opportunities to do that and to serve in those capacities. So our organization helps to facilitate a lot of that for these organizations, and it also does so for, for our own activities as well. So you can always learn more about this at fightforchildren.org, um, or in any case, uh, or at any time, go ahead and give me a call, and I'd be happy to walk through what those opportunities are. Okay, excellent. All right, and we'll include um, a link to purchase the tickets um, in the video description. And I just appreciate you coming on today. Take care. No, my pleasure. Thank you, Rachel.